Well, uh, let's see if anyone joins us here. Where is everyone? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Just doing a little live stream from Branson, Missouri. That would be Missouri. 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 No one, no one, no one's around. No. No one's around. People are gonna join. Oh, one, one, one person. One person shows up. We're just, we're just getting done eating our mellow mushroom pizza down here in Branson, Missouri. Just got done with Silver Dollar City. Oh, what's up? Noah, love Branson. Have you ever been to uh, this little outdoor shopping area in Branson? It's uh, not too far. It's about 20 minutes from Silver Dollar City. And uh, just like an outdoor shopping area, some restaurants and, and stores. Really nice weather. Oh, we got eight people here. Oh, it's... Hello, everyone. Why don't you uh, check on, see if you can uh, see comments on your phone or whatever. So this is a little outdoor shopping area. This is a little, sorry for the little spur of the moment. We don't like to go live too often. Um, uh, watching from Canton, Ohio. What's up, Canton? Not too far from from where, where we are, um, where we live. Uh, uh, I have not. I went to Big Ape in Silver Dollar City and went zip lining. Oh, zip lining. We did, we did a terrain coaster. We did a mountain coaster. Not zip lining, though. I want to go to Silver Dollar, Silver Dollar City myself this summer, Mike. Oh, definitely go. Highly recommend it. What do we got? We got like fountain. We got dancing fountains over here. Uh, I'm watching from Columbus. What's up, Columbus? Great Lakes. Uh, Great Lakes, Michigan. What's up, Michigan? Columbus, Canton, all over the place. What is this? I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, got some dancing fountains over here. This is a really nice area. Branson, Missouri, is just like a. It's like a little touristy area because of the Ozarks, Great Lake, or Grass, Grass Lake. Grass Lake, Grass Lake, Michigan. So is Grass Lake closer to like uh, uh, Michigan's Adventure or Cedar Point or, or what would your, uh, what would your home park be? Oh, look at the look at the, you guys see all these like dancing fountains down here we have six 16 people on the spur of the mo oh it's by ann arbor okay oh, that's my pizza? and our ann arbor michigan oh should should okay everyone let us know on the live let us know should i give this guy our pizza or not yeah, yeah. you guys have to you guys have to respond <laughs> i don't i don't think we're just <laughs> um oh Yep. Yes. Give him. Okay. Someone said give you the. No. No. We're not. We're not giving him pizza. Michigan's adventure is horrible. We never been to Michigan's adventure. We will get there eventually, because we want to ride Shivering Timbers. <laughs> go. Go jump in. Go jump in. Look at this. Look. At this. this is really nice down here. Yeah. As long. Yeah. Anyone. If any, if any of you guys aren't subscribers and you guys subscribe, you will get to see me jump. Um, that's all they. Oh well, yeah. I mean, sh but, but shivering timbers is a good one thing to have, though. Uh, it's just the worst Kings Island. I don't know. I don't. I mean, I Kings Island. We really like Kings Island. Um, as far as uh. A worse Kings Island. I don't know. Kings Island doesn't have a. They don't have an SLC. They don't have like a lot of those great coasters that Michigan's Adventure have. Yeah, Kings Island is nice. 
Earlier we did a Copperhead Mountain Coaster. Just wondering what are both your guys' names? My name is Milo. Well, that's and what's your name? I forgot. That's Milo and I don't remember. I don't remember. And there, oh, there we go. And I'm Jesse. So uh, we we are some. I just saw someone ask where we were. Yeah, we are in Branson, Missouri. Yeah, we're in Branson, Missouri. We just went to Silver Dollar City today, and tomorrow we're going to uh, the opening day of Six Flags St. Louis. And we came and ate some food, and we figured we'd jump on and do a quick live stream. Uh, just because it's such a nice little area uh you guys wait oh we miss i missed the comment we are enjoying the trip it's actually gone perfect so far i uh, can't really ask for much better um a vlog we filmed we filmed a vlog for uh silver dollar city we're gonna film a vlog for uh six flags st louis so you guys will get to all see our entire adventure that we had. Um, what do we got? I'll turn you guys around because you guys yeah. would rather see rather see all this than sit there and look at me. You guys don't want to look at me. <laughs> There's a Hilton. Hilton. They got like they got like a couple modern buildings. This is considered downtown Branson. And the only modern buildings are like Hilton's. New fire in the whole thoughts. Oh, what's up, Anne Marie? New fire in the whole thoughts. We will have. Oh, you're at, uh, at work. Well, thanks for jumping on while you're at work. Don't want you to get you in trouble at work, though. <laughs> Maybe Tony Clark works with. Maybe you work for Tony Clark, and he will <laughs> not be happy with you watching. Uh, new fire in the whole thoughts. Uh, new fire in the whole thoughts. Okay. We do have. A vlog coming out from Silver Dollar City where we'll talk. Yeah, about we talk that a bit about it. Thing. Um, but Fire in the Hole was. It's a nice little family ride. If people start hyping it up so much, like they have been, then you need to calm your expectations because it's nothing that's going to blow you away. Um, helps time go by. I've been an RN for. 34 years okay oh that's wow yeah a long time like are you guys related you've been uh are we related you've been uh helping people out as a nurse for 34 years mm -hmm. that's an amazing that's that's a yeah. hero right there hero job mm -hmm. um but uh are we related yes father son yes that is uh that's uh, I, I missed a couple comments that came through uh, came through here. Since 2019, uh, saying hi from Arizona. Love watching both of you for when I'm trying to decide what to do for summer vacations. Uh, uh, summer vacation. Uh, where where uh, who asked that? Uh, summer vacation, uh, Roblox Carson. Okay, so uh, summer vacation. Depend like where are you from? Like, and what do you like to do if you want to take a, take a nice uh, coaster road trip? Uh, we can maybe suggest a few parks for you. Uh, hey, where are you? We are in Branson, Missouri, downtown Branson, Missouri. Will you hold this for a second? Yeah. I'm going to... Oh, yeah. Hold on. Yep, put it down. So, this is Branson, Missouri. One area. And then there's a little bit more over there. Stopping by to say hi and drop a like and support. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you, Anne Marie. You always support like so much. So and we have a, a members video that we filmed. So uh well Flint Michigan Jamie says stopping by to say hi and drop a like. Oh support. okay. Uh, Amory says, say hey to Mike. He's at work also. Mike, Mike's at work. Anyone that's at work right now and dropping by, greatly appreciate that. Anyone that's going to risk getting fired for us <laughs> is okay in my book. I don't think you're going to get fired unless you work for Tony Clark, like <laughs> I said before. Uh. But this is going to be a quick live stream because 
We, we are exhausted. We are, but it's nice to walk around in this beautiful weather. Your thoughts, uh, first park in U.S. to get a Mac Hyper. I would love this. A Mac Hyper? I would love it too. DC Rivals in the United States. Who would, who would fit? Because everyone just wants to do B&M Hypers because they're so traditional and so reliable. Um, it would have to be a park. I don't think it would be a chain park. Oh, what's up, Theme Park Plunge? Oh, thank you, Theme Park Plunge. Oh, you're you're amazing. Thank you so oh, much. Yeah, thank you. Theme Park Plunge, always coming in and supporting this channel. And anyone out there, go check out Theme Park Plunge. They do their own channel, and I've watched some videos and definitely highly recommend it. So definitely go and uh, click on that channel for sure. For show, sure, people. For show, sure. uh, how many park, how many park days in a row is the most you've done? <sighs> not, not many, to be honest. Yeah, we usually. Let me flip this. You guys can. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm. It's like not many. I don't like doing a ton of parks in a row. Probably like, probably just like three or four days in a row, tops so far. We're going to parks. Yeah. Something like that, right? Probably something like that, yeah. Because we, we don't go like... When when you start going to parks every single day, the last parks that you go to just aren't that fun. <laughs> uh, no. I, I don't know. I don't mind doing... I don't know. It, it can be tiring for sure. I'm going to flip you guys back around here. Uh, I'm trying to catch up on some comments. Uh, okay, Milo is catching up on comments. Watch the, watch him catch up on comments. The Holiday World two years uh yeah cedar point is our home park highly recommend it holiday world kings island kentucky kingdom uh that's a nice trifecta uh carowinds dollywood those are a nice combo uh king's dominion bush gardens williamsburg that's a nice combo Mike said, I'm a night shift engineer at an automotive supplier, so I'm bored 90% of my night. Oh, well, then there you go. You get bored, and we're here to help. Beach Cove Studios has your back when you're bored at work. Also, I think you guys would look great in some Michigan tees. No. No. No, we won't. Haha, <clears throat> <clears throat> go blue. No. No. Bad. Bad. Oh, Bad commenter. Uh, Bad person the best coaster you guys have ever ridden and will you do a top 25 video on your favorite roller coasters oh who is that john oh what's up appreciate sharing uh traveling from oregon i missed the comment I appreciate you sharing your video at cedar point been traveling from oregon every summer <coughs> since 2018 missed you at coaster mania last year have a great season thank you awesome thank you so much appreciate that we were not at coaster mania last year because it was the same weekend as Halloween nights. And let's keep walking up, yeah. up the road here. Uh, but, but but this year, I think we're gonna go to Coaster Mania this year, but all the way from Oregon. So have you been to Wild Waves? Yeah, or Oaks. And I've been to Portland, but I did not go to Oaks. I have been to Wild Waves in Portland, uh, Seattle. There so, uh, with the other comment, what, um, have you, will you do a top 25 video on your favorite roller coaster? I do have a top 25 uh, favorite roller coaster video already uploaded from a couple months ago. Yeah. Uh, I do one at the end <coughs> of every season, so usually like January, December-ish of every year, uh, I'll usually do one. Uh, the best coaster I've ridden, probably Lightning Rod at Dollywood, that's my favorite. Yours is Steel Vengeance. Mine's Steel Vengeance. I don't do, like, all the top 25 lists on our channel are his right there because I'm not good at ranking ranking coasters. Maybe we should go into one of these stores. <laughs> should we go into, like, his... last of an American tradition. Look, let's go into this store. Um, Where are you guys at? Uh, headed to Dollywood for the first time. Catch that. I think that was Theme Park Plunge. Uh catch that comment yeah it is very hard walking and reading comments. yes so if, I, if i missed any comments 
trying, but it is hard. Yeah, we're not trying to ignore anyone's comments. Oh, do Dollywood, you can get done in one day. Yeah, he was saying three, like, our three times at Dollywood has each been one day each. And one time we got the time saver passes. Uh, I forget which time. But Dollywood is, it's a nice park, but not a ton of coasters. So you should be able to get in everything, especially if you're going, uh, what are you going with, like, coaster crew or something like that? We're going into a store here. Let's go check out the store. Let's see what's all in here. But if you're going and you have ERT on like lightning rod and stuff, then you are good to go. Oh, it is warm in this store. Oh, well. There, we're back. Oh, we're back, guys. We are leaving the store now because yeah, the not, the, the uh, store the store did not like doing a live stream and it, it blocked us. We were talking about Happy Coaster Dad. I don't know if that uh, cut out or not. Yeah, we were thinking Happy Coaster Dad. Uh, yeah, that store definitely had bad uh, service, but. We were thinking Happy Coaster Dad and asking him if he if he wanted us to buy him any like dots or whatever. <laughs> look, we got across the street. If you guys know, you look both ways. <coughs> uh, uh, I'm dying here, guys. It's been a long day. No U-turns. No. We haven't. I was expecting a lot more like touristy type stuff like what they have by dollywood dollywood like a pigeon forge they have stuff it's just not um it oh you missed that yeah i think we started to <laughs> conk out because we were thanking you uh happy coaster dad we were thanking you and then we were pointing at candy yeah. like pretend his face is candy we were pointing at candy and saying what do you want us to buy you and then we looked at the phone and it was like it was freezing, so <clears throat> that store did not like. But this is such a nice area. This is the best area I've ever been. Well, I wouldn't say that, but. No, I would not say that either. But it is a very, it's a nice little town and very touristy. Yeah, very touristy and uh, just and nice weather today, and this trip is going about as well as can be other like other than the fact <laughs> what's that excuse me are you subscribed to beach club studios you got you got your carrot cake that is very frank that person just scared milo i don't think they're subscribed to beach club studios um we had to buy the their the f version of fast lane for silver dollar city which is trailblazer we had to buy that today because the park was so busy. We did not think on a Thursday in March that the that it was going to be that busy. Yeah. Where are we going? We we pass we're passing up our car. We're just, enjoying, we're just yeah. Enjoying beautiful Missouri. Uh but we're probably going to be getting out of this uh spring break. Yeah, it's spring break for like people in like Kansas City and stuff. Yeah. So we heard <clears throat> Time Traveler was running, uh, sl it was running a little okay in the morning and then it broke down. Here, we'll flip. And so Time Traveler was running okay in the morning. It broke down for like most of the day. And so everyone was like freaking out, like no one's going to get to ride it again. Like we ran into, uh, we ran into Coaster Studios there. And they were, uh, they were saying that they did not. What's up, Raymond? And they were saying like they didn't get to ride uh, Time Traveler yet because it was broken down. And obviously they didn't get there right at rope drop like we did. So it was, uh, we rode it twice right at the beginning and then they got it back up and running. Yeah, but it was getting faster and better um, throughout the day. And also who we ran into today, uh, the guy Dwayne, if any of you guys have ever gone on RCDB, Roller Coaster Database, the website that 
has like all the information. It is the roller coaster, roller coaster <laughs> database. Yeah, that, that like that thing has all the information. But the guy Dwayne, that actually started the site and runs it, almost by himself. He has he has some help, but he does a lot of it by himself. We ran into him today, and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool because uh, uh, I, I have a friend named Dwayne, uh, but he's a fan collector like me. Okay, well. This Dwayne is a Dwayne that is a nerd and runs roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, but like it's kind of like, yeah, but it's kind of like, um, who started? I don't know. I don't. I didn't know who made RCDB. I just thought I never it existed for as long as humans did. It yeah, just, it just. I got an RCD, itchy. I got an itchy just face. It's just like RCDB just was. Yeah, uh, Kings Dominion got rid of their go karts. We heard about that. I never that. even knew that they had go karts. I heard something about that. <laughs> uh, our last live stream, which this is weird. Yeah. Like we never do live streams, and we did one driving down here, and then we were eating, and we're like, "This is such a nice area. Maybe we should just jump on and live stream and see if anyone like joins." And honestly, I'm always shocked when people <laughs> join in and stuff yeah. like that. I'm like, aren't I'm like. I'm like, people don't want to see us talk or anything like that. <laughs> but we're always so pleased when all the familiar faces and the new faces show up on the stream. Oh, yeah. uh, it's always like, okay, it's like it's like a big hangout. It's like a, <laughs> it's like a happy little hangout. You guys are in your spot, we're in our spot, and except we're all connected through this little device and stuff. So that's the thing I really like about live streaming. Oh, yeah. I think we might do it more often. Uh, yeah, Cedar Point's go-karts. We're back, yeah, back by uh, where the water park is. Action Park, I forget what, what they called it. But they got rid of all that when they expanded the uh, the water park. Uh, can't wait for Top Thrill 2. Yeah, we're excited for that. Uh, and you enjoy our opinions, and that means a lot to us, that, oh, people, yeah. that people care about our opinions and stuff. So, uh, we, yeah, we appreciate that. Um, I, I'm missing. I'm missing some comments. Oh, no, let me catch up. He's trying to catch up on some comments because uh, I always love. I'm resting you guys on the pizza box. <laughs> I always love y'all's content, and I always look out for a new vid. Well, thank you, thank uh, you, we... Skyler, the ceiling fan collector, 2024 commentary. <laughs> um, I remember. What was Milo's there. first ever coaster? He rode. rode uh, his first ever real coaster was Maverick at, at Cedar, Cedar Point. Point. My first ever coaster was Little Dipper at Memphis Kitty Park. But my second coaster right after that was Maverick at Cedar Point. He rode Maverick at Cedar Point when he was, uh, what, were you seven. seven years old? Yes. Um, yeah, so that uh, Maverick, and he was kind of a little taken back. Yeah, and it was a little like... What's going to be better, multi-launch TT2? Or, I, I know you were... Uh, no, no, it's fine. Uh, or Pantheon. I'm hoping Top Thrill 2, since it's our home park and we get to ride it, but Pantheon... Pantheon's going to be, like, not to clown. I know some people are clowning on Top Thrill 2. I'm not trying to, but I do think... Kind of... I. 100% sure that Pantheon will probably be a lot better. Pantheon, Pantheon is fantastic. Pantheon's an amazing coaster. I saw a happy coaster dad make yeah, a comment. Yeah, same but here. It, we're always looking for new beach clip videos. We try to put out stuff. We try to... I, I'll tell you, the process of planning out videos and thinking them out and then getting them done, it's a lot of work. It's very, very it's, it's a lot. Challenging. It's a lot of work. All of these videos that you see are very challenging. Yeah. Uh, got my three-year-old granddaughter excited about coasters. Oh, good. I mean, that, that, that's good. Like the future generation of enthusiasts. Yes. Future, future <laughs> enthusiasts. We need that. Um, and then I saw, I saw John comment. Something. Uh, I love airtime hills in the launch. Yeah. That's one thing that top Thrill two will be lacking. And that's what Pantheon has. The hill and, in the launch is so good. And top Thrill two is probably going, uh, member probably. for it. I encourage everyone watching to become a member. Yeah, thank you, Anne Marie. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, we make it worthwhile to everyone that's a member. Yeah, that's one thing that we don't want to do is disappoint people that are members, because you guys, we we try really hard to be like, okay, what can we do that's interesting, that's new, that maybe you can't get like from what we normally do. 
So we try to think of fun things to do for channel members. Um, we're going to have to, uh, like, I was, was I in the... Yeah, you were talking, we were talking about, about Top Thrill 2. Top Thrill 2. And Pantheon and the Airtime Hill. The backwards launch, I think the Airtime Hill, on the on like, for, like, a backwards launch, I think going 101 miles per hour might be a little bit too much to have an Airtime Hill. That that it, might no, it, it'll have, it would that have might to be more spread out. That might rip again. people's legs no, off. No, it wouldn't. It would be fine. Um, the name Beach Cliff Studios came because here I'm gonna set you guys on. <laughs> oh no, you know what? I'm gonna set you guys creepily in the window. Right there in the window. <laughs> How weird I can is hold that? It. I, can, I can hold it. The name Beach Cliff Studios came because uh, some stuff near our house uh we live we live close we, to li a beach. we live we live pretty much across the street from a beach and and we wanted to do beach cliff studios because we wanted to do a name that didn't only do roller coasters even though we're now 99.9 percent .9 a roller coaster channel we also wanted to do stuff about filmmaking which we've gone away from we wanted to do, do stuff about like all sorts of entertainment, mm -hmm. haunted houses and stuff like that. So we wanted a name that was like open and not just like, oh, hey, we're coaster or something mm -hmm. or whatever. So we wanted to keep it open and we thought of the name Beach Cliff Studios, so. Uh, is Milo written in the Flying Ace at King's Dominion? That's my favorite ride. Uh, I think I probably At King's Dominion? Have. What is flying? Ace? Is that just the? Is that their like kitty? Is that just suspended? Because um, we maybe. rode we rode the flying ace at King's Island. Uh, so is that just? And a, I've a, ridden the one at Carowinds and yeah, and Carowinds and Canada's Wonderland. I want to say. I want to say. I'll hold it again. I'm gonna, gonna flip you guys. There you go. Here, get on this side of me. That's easier. Um, uh, me... Oh, here we go. Steelers. Okay, you can stop that nonsense right now. We don't need, we don't need any of that negativity. Uh, haunted houses. Uh, no, we've never done Halloween Horror Nights. We would love to. We though. want to. Yeah. Unfortunately, now I hear that it's so busy and packed. Let's just sit on this bench. Um, and uh, I hear that it's so packed now. Here, sit over on that side. That it just, uh, it makes it like almost not worthwhile. Oh. Uh. Uh, let's see. Go. Milo, talk about how Magnum is a great ride. Okay, so Magnum is a fantastic ride. <laughs> so it really is just perfect. It um, was one of Arrow's best creations. My second favorite Arrow coaster. The Airtime Hills are so good. The Hall of Fame uh what the rock and roll hall of fame i'm assuming or the football hall of fame we got multiple hall of fames yeah we've we just did we actually did a vlog a few years ago from the from football the pro hall, football yeah. hall of fame i've been to the rock and roll hall of fame i think two yeah, or three football. times football okay i've been there once yeah i i went there as a kid and then we went there like in 2020 and we did like a, a vlog and and uh, it, it was it was nice. We we like the like the Hall of Fame. Something we wouldn't go to all the time, but definitely every so often. Uh, my family is in the upper part of Michigan. We travel uh, over to Valley Fair. Really cool park. So who's the king of Boo Blast? I am. So Boo Blast no, is my I, thing. I win like. So 95% yeah. of the time. You can check back so in the I'm, old... So I'm definitely the person... The old, you can check back in the that old rules footage, Boo Blast. And you can see how I win pretty much every time. That's something that Cedar Point needs so bad, though. They need, like, a shooting dark... They need a dark ride in general. But one of those shooting dark rides would be, like, so nice. Uh, Steel Current is a top-tier coaster. Steel Current is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Top-tier coaster? I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Anne Marie. Always, how? Uh, yeah, Anne, thanks. Anne Marie is mm -hmm. literally the best. I mean, there's doesn't get much better <laughs> on the tier of best to worst. <laughs> Anne Marie is up at like top. That's pretty much. Thank you, Anne Marie. Uh, but Steel Kern 
I wouldn't call it elite, but it has a ton of inversions and doesn't make me all wonky. Yeah. Which is, which says a lot because sometimes inversions just lead me to all like be all like goofy and personally stuff. it's still my third favorite uh coaster at kennywood i still like phantom more and i like jackrabbit more because every time i go to kennywood i ride jackrabbit over and over and over again so i like jackrabbit and phantom a little bit more um okay what's it going to take you to get you guys to michigan's adventure uh we're just going to have to actually find the, it's not that we're against going we're definitely more than willing to go we just need like an actual time Mm -hmm. that it makes sense and it's just like, kind of in a weird spot like i went to michigan not too long ago but it's like ann arbor area like ann arbor and detroit um which is still pretty far from uh michigan's adventure so it's just kind of in a weird spot and it's hard to get to a uh, boo blast or gobbler's getaway i would say boo blast by a little i would say but, boo blast by a hair but God. gobbler's getaway is a lot of fun especially that creepy grandma in the queue like that that one is uh that one's are you both worried that this is the last summer before six flags name takes over cedar point well six flags name isn't going to take over cedar point yeah cedar point will be cedar point carowinds knots king's dominion all those parks are going to be called what they're called right now six flags won't it won't be oh what's up jared Six Flags won't be Me name changing anything. Is in a real weird spot. What what are you talking about, Jared? Um Milo. <clears throat> but uh uh you need to get that credit, dude. You gotta come to Michigan. We we're going we're going <laughs> we're Everyone going to, to go, we're gonna go to Michigan's venture right this second. Eventually. Bye. Eventually I we am, will. I am going to Michigan. And we're going to right Great now. America this year. So maybe just maybe we might do Michigan's adventure on the way to great America. Um, but I have a really bad habit on live streams of like, of beginning a thought and then, <laughs> and then stopping. Um, Who's going to have a better NFL season, Bengals or Browns? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think, I think both teams are going to, have a little bit of a struggle. I don't Deshaun know. Watson gets hurt for like two games in or whatever. <laughs> then, um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to hit Michigan's adventure for pass holder preview day for our drive for Shivering Timbers. I mean, yeah, if you're willing to do it, I think it's even a further than a four hour drive for uh, for us. I think so. It's like five, maybe. And oh it's like, God. and it's not even really on the way to Great America. We went from like this, this whole live stream started because we're in such like this cool area and we're walking around showing everyone stuff, showing everyone fountains and all this cool stuff. And it turned into us sitting against like a brick wall. <laughs> it's, it's a stone wall. This isn't brick. Uh, oh, oh, happy coaster. Dad's going to be at michigan's adventure for for preview day everyone's gonna be there look you guys are making me feel like i'm we're missing out on stuff we, that's what i'm saying i'm going to go to michigan's adventure right now no you guys are making us miss out on things so you guys can stop all that making us jealous <laughs> that you guys are going to go do all this fun stuff uh thoughts on what coaster could be coming to six flags magic mountain we have a whole video about yeah that we did we, yeah we did a video yeah we did a video about that uh talking about a lot i i think what's up will Hi. Look, I'm I'm gonna touch the I'm gonna touch the little hand. Um yeah, I, I think honestly, like a mock extreme spinner that would, be, would be amazing at Magic Mountain. I think that would be That'd Oh, be go great. ride shivering timbers, Raymond. Oh my Raymond. <laughs> everyone. You want us to ride shiver I will everyone we, will we ride oh. shivering timbers. Calm down everybody. We, Don't worry. We will ride shivering timbers. No, so everyone's so so gentle. It is my number one bucket list coaster now. I tell you, like I, I was saying earlier, I don't know if everyone was in in, in the little chat, <clears throat> but I was saying that we might be a smaller channel, but we have like we have the best people and and oh, yeah. our oh yeah like you you can have a hundred thousand subs 
but if those 100,000 people aren't any good, <laughs> then I'll take the subs that we have that are that are good. Like like actually like interesting and they have stuff to say and participate and are like actually like cool people and stuff like that. So I would take that in a heartbeat. So thank you to all our subs and our members. And we're sitting like on a hill, like look. Yeah, we're like tilted. We're on a bench and so we're kind of like, I was just literally like sliding mm -hmm. off this bench. Is X2 better than Iron Gwazi? I love X2, but it's nowhere close to Iron Gwazi. Iron nowhere Gwazi close. is an elite coaster. X2 is fantastic, I love it, but not quite Iron Gwazi level. We rode X2 one, we are dedicated view, and, and yes, thank you, you Amber. I mean, and we appreciate that. We try to put out stuff that you guys all would enjoy and find useful and find entertaining. Uh, unsubbing now. Jared, you go ahead and unsub. <laughs> we don't care. We don't need. We said cool people, Jared. <laughs> we said cool people. So that obviously, you're going to be at Six Flags Great America's opening day instead of King's Island's. So that's all we need to know about Jared. What if Six Flags Great America is a better park than King's Island? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Raymond, don't Raymond, don't feel need the need to talk to Jared. Yeah, no, no point in that. Don't don't feel the need. <laughs> Come to Carowinds. We've been to Carowinds uh, twice. He's been there three times. I've been there twice. I've been there more, so I'm better. Um, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's leaving us now. Uh. But, uh, well, yeah, Carowinds, we've been there a couple times, and we're not going to get back there again this year because we got all these other parks like Silver Dollar City and Six Flags St. Louis that we had to get to. Yeah. But we will get back there maybe whenever they put in their uh, their new coaster. Yeah. So yeah, Once we'll, they get a new we'll coaster. We'll see you on Thunderstriker at some point or Intimidator. Uh, El Toro might make it through the entire summer. I hear it's running great this year. Everything that I've been watching, I've been keeping up on uh, Great Advent, uh, a Great Adventures opening, mm -hmm. and I heard from everyone that it's running great. Which is which is great to hear. Um, Jared says we are the best. Okay, but he's laughing. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, Jared, we're, we'll 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 take this up on opening day at Cedar Point. <laughs> uh, yeah, my home park would be. Yeah, my home park would be Kings Island Pass. It's good everywhere. It's good. Yeah. So, yeah, you got the now the all park passport, which we always had the platinum pass. Now it's all park passport. Coming to Cedar Point, any tips? We are going to do a future tips and tricks video. We're, we're doing like a complete We're but like we've had it like we've had like all these notes and everything to say yeah, and it just for your 2024 cedar point and video it's impossible to talk about everything as we're sitting on a bench sliding down a hill what's in up Branson, miku Missouri. so we will have a miku full, says what's up buddy? what's up uh we will have a full uh video about that yeah that is coming my biggest tip right now for cedar point is to go and uh go and what <laughs> and Oh, what, what 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 good tips? Plan your day wisely. <laughs> if you uh, is early June a bad time? No, early June is fine. Hit hit a weekday. Uh, Weekdays in the summer are usually fine. If you go like weekend, it's like it, it's bad. Obviously, weekend hollow weekends like Saturday hollow weekends is the is the busiest time. To yeah. Go. Like in our video here, we'll give you guys. Since everyone is here, we'll give you guys a little thing. Well, like we're going to talk about in the upcoming video, how you can choose Cedar Point by like the crowds or the number of things to do. Like there'll be more things to do later in the year, but larger crowds, but uh, less things to do. And I'm talking about things to do like uh, uh, boardwalk nights is going to be going on during the mm -hmm. summer. That's gonna be along the beach and all these games and stuff and music. That stuff goes on uh, later in the year. So you can choose that time of year and it'll be busier. Mm -hmm. Or you can choose earlier in the year and there's no shows and rides might be a little iffy, but crowds will be much lower. I was very, uh, wait, I gotta catch up. Thoughts on Top Girl 2 Plaza. 
It looks amazing. It does look fantastic. Like all the lights and all the signs, like they are going crazy. Like they just, they spent all their they're money basic, on signs. Yeah, they're basically Fantasia Land now with, yeah. this, with this level of theming with signs. <laughs> but yeah, the signs look really cool. <sighs> Wait, what did what did Ghoster Coasters say? <laughs> I missed it. Um, yeah. There was a whole conversation that I think we missed between between Jared and uh and Raymond. You guys are talking behind our backs right here. But John brought up Carowinds uh had a lot of investments over uh the last couple of years, especially the Project Sparrow. Yeah, we did a whole video about Project Sparrow. Uh it looks it looks like it'll be good. They're they're, they're bringing up their Camp Snoopy which uh, that's what Cedar Fair Parks are trying to do. Yeah. They're trying to bring up their kids' stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, lit up at night, Raymond. Oh, my God. That thing, like, walking down that little midway. Wet top throw, too. Yeah. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to like, look like Vegas. It's going to be lit up like Vegas. Exactly. All, the, all the signs and all the... It's going gonna, it's gonna to be glaring. It's going to be nice. It is. Oh, I just pressed my... Um, I was very disappointed in Hollow Weekends this past season. Yeah, it was at Cedar Point. Yeah, it was um, definitely toned down. Uh, yeah, Hollow Weekends, not as good. Uh, do you guys see the new Extreme Spinner? I know there's the Extreme Spinner rumored for, like, Holiday Park, but which one? And we have uh, Sam Miller asks, uh, or said SeaWorld quietly making a move. SeaWorld? is investing a lot they work with intamin uh like sea world itself orlando works with a lot of b m obviously but they're they're becoming a, a really good coaster parks they're investing heavily into coasters instead of animals which is good um milo is candace wonderland a cluster to get to or is it relatively easy um um toronto being in the main in a lot of the you know downtown and old toronto and a lot of the surrounding like riverdale and a lot of the closer uh, suburbs is really easy to get around with like public transportation with the car there is quite a bit of traffic um going to like canada's wonderland that's in vaughn which is a very northern suburb where you're gonna have to drive to get there and it's not horrible it's a big city so there's um there's a lot of traffic but it's not horrible i've been to toronto twice now and it's it's nothing terrible it's it is easy to get around most of the city without a car though if you've ever been to any other big major yeah, city it's pretty similar to that i saw a theme park talk about epic universe uh yeah epic universe is getting that max spinner it's like a baby max spinner like we saw the testing videos and it looks like a swing launch yeah. spinner. Uh, I mean, it looks good. Yeah. I, And it's going to be in Dark Universe, which would probably be my personal favorite down there because I love horror movie stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, back, back behind Millennium where the... Because Raymond brought up the, the scare zone area. Yeah, along Frontier Trail. That's where it's supposed to be. That area is so good. You put the fog, you put the lights in people's oh, faces, yeah. and it's so crowded. Like that clown thing over in a big, bright, wide midway. Like, it, like I don't know. It was a big fail. It was yeah. a huge fail. I don't know fail. if it was a huge fail. It was a fail. Was, you know, no, uh, fail. I'm sliding off here. Milo, like, would you rather play Craig Porter Jr. over Darius Garland in the playoffs? I think you already know the answer to that one. You missed Banished. Um... Ban oh, banished was yeah, banished was the the old one in the because banished kind of threw me off because Kings Island now has something called similar. Uh, what what theirs is called something similar. At w uh, where? At Kings Island, not banished, but oh, the outdoor. Oh yeah, I don't yeah, remember. they have an I don't outdoor one. It's called. But yeah, banished was the one to go. The one to be at that was the one to walk through yeah know? on frontier trail yeah that that thing that was that was the main that was hollow weekends that made hollow weekends 
Uh, you have it good in Cleveland right now. My Pistons are so awful. If you were a Cavs fan, you would not think that we have it good right now. No, we got it bad. Don't Cleveland. talk about the Cavs. <laughs> no sports talk. No. I'm I'm upset with sports right now. I don't I don't do I don't do sports anymore. The Cavs suck. No more sports. <laughs> uh, new trains for Millennium. Uh, no, I don't think I don't think Cedar Point will invest that kind of money. In not saying that they don't want to invest in Millennium, but I think they're happy with what they have. No, we're back. Oh, we're back. <laughs> okay. Because we had to check into our hotel and we haven't checked in yet. Yeah. And I think our hotel was just calling. <laughs> They're like, where are you? No, we're sitting talking to everyone about all sorts so, of stuff. So I think we need to get going because we're tired anyway. We've had a long drive yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to drive three hours to Silver Dollar City this morning. Uh, you got to go. Happy Co. Everyone's got to yes. go anyway. Um, but yeah, see you guys. Thank you guys for yes, we will be jumping doing in this more live streams because these are a lot of fun. So yeah, we will be doing something more. where my arm doesn't have to be like <laughs> held out holding Extended. this phone like yeah. this. So all you guys stay safe. Make sure you guys uh, get to plenty of parks this year. Ride plenty of roller coasters. Stay safe. And uh. Yeah, we, well, we have a tripod, we but, have a tripod but, but we're not with us. We didn't think that we we're going to do a live stream, so. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll talk to you guys some other time. See you guys. See ya. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Look, see my thumb. <laughs>